enough to eat, and it's made completely out of cashmere. That's what you call high-class art. A visit to New York is coming up, so don't go away. We'll drop in on a jewelry maker whose love of history inspires her design. That's next on Crafters Coast to Coast. Tomorrow night on back-to-back -back episodes of House Hunters. First, Ron's ready for a... Time Warner Cable. Now anything's possible. Welcome back to Crafters Coast to Coast. I'm Angela Martinez. Our next crafter is from New York. She has a degree in history, and her jewelry designs prove that education has really paid off. Her pieces truly stand the test of time. My name is Amanda Schuster, and I'm a metal artist in Brooklyn, New York. And I make all kinds of jewelry, like this ring, and this necklace, and this bracelet and this necklace, and this one too, and these earrings. But today, I'm gonna to be making this cool silver and turquoise necklace. Wanna see how? This is my studio. This is my converted second room, which is now a jewelry studio, so if I have friends coming out of town to visit me, they can't stay here. I have everything in here that I need, and today I'm gonna to be making a necklace, and so the first thing that I do is I go to one of my many stones, which I get from all over. Yeah, this looks like a good one. This is the turquoise, which I got in Tucson, Arizona, which I think would make a perfect necklace for today. Now that I have the jewel, I've gotta find the metal for it. In this case, 24 gauge sterling silver. And so what I do is I rummage through my bag of supplies. I get the right metal. I eyeball it by putting the stone on the silver and just drawing a little square with a marker. And now I cut. So now that I've cut the metal, I'm gonna heat it so that it's more pliable and then I have a special way of flattening it. This is a bench block, which is the approximate weight of a shot put. So now that this is flat, I can set it aside and make the bezel. I cut a piece of masking tape from this roll, and this should fit around the stone. And then you draw a mark where the ends meet. I lay that onto my bezel wire and cut right where I've marked it. So now that I've cut this bezel wire, I'm going to fit the ends together so that they meet, and then I can solder it. So now that I have the bezel soldered and the back plate flattened, I'm going to solder the bezel onto the back plate and add some embellishments to the top of it. Safety first. Okay, so now I've got everything soldered onto the back plate. I've got the jump ring and balls, and now I'm gonna cut it out, file the edges clean, punch a hole in the jump ring, and polish it. Brucey, meow. That's Bruce Lee Kitty. He was actually found on the streets of Manhattan outside on a cold night, and I was able to get him home to Brooklyn. He likes to get into everything, wants to be the center of attention. Bruce Lee Kitty. Okay, I have filed the edges clean and given it a good matte polish, and now I'm ready to set the stone. My family doesn't have much of an artistic background. My parents are scientists. Basically, they think I'm from another gene pool. My guess is that I was switched at birth. So now that the stone is set, I'm gonna make a chain.
Okay, so I've cut lengths of wire for my handmade chain, and what I'm gonna do is solder jump rings to the end of it so that it can all fit together as chains do. I've made eight of these chain links, and I've made one on the thicker rod with three jump rings so that I can hang the pendant. And now it's time to assemble the necklace, which I'm gonna do over there. I just open them with my pliers and link the pieces together and close. Open, link, close. Open, link, close. Here is my finished product a lovely spiderweb turquoise stone with brushed sterling silver. And this can be worn for any casual or dressy event. <laughs> that necklace is what Crafters Coast to Coast is all about. She got the rock in the desert and crafted it in the city. We're going back down south to hook up with Helena again. This time, she gives Copper a beauty makeover. Want this, this, or what about this? Now what if we give you the money to pay for it? Enter the Stay at Home Shop at Home sweepstakes today, and you could win a $2,500 shopping spree at Shop at Home. That's right, $2,500 to spend on whatever you want. All you have to do to enter is log on to HDTV.com slash Shop at Home Sweeps today. Next, Collector Inspector finds a congregation of antique musical instruments. Then at noon, it's Homes Across America, today on HGTV. Who of us doesn't love finding a treasure now and then? Something that's much better than we expected. That's why I shop on Tuesday morning. If I need a gift for a dear friend, I'm sure I'll find it a Tuesday morning. And I know that it will be a special quality gift that I'll be proud to give. Sensational close-out home accessories and gifts 